Long before the Mario series was just a copy and paste of the same easy ass game, every game had its own unique identity and art style to make you say, hey, I wanna buy that new Mario game, that, that, that game looks good. And funnily enough, two of the most fun and unique Mario games were on the Game Boy. I always found the original Mario Land small blocky art style to be very aesthetically pleasing for some reason. Where else are you gonna find Mario traveling through Easter Island beating the shit out of Easter Island heads? Or piloting a plane through World War II? This game was crazy. But Mario Land 2 kicked it up like 20 notches, introducing a bunch of interesting characters and levels, but I'm not here to review the games, I'm here to talk about Super Mario characters you will never see again. Tatanga. Tatanga is the villain of the original Mario Land game. He kidnapped Princess Daisy, provoking Mario to come in and beat his ass and get his bitch back. He also makes an appearance as a boss in Mario Land 2, but ever since then, he's been missing. I can't imagine the theories fans must have had about him appearing in one of the Mario Galaxy games. Kara Kara. Kara Kara is an eyeball umbrella foot thing based off the Japanese yokai Karakasa Obake. Yeah, I, I can't really imagine why they didn't want this shit to ever come back. Kurak Yora. Okay, let's be real here. There's only one of this guy in the game. This man is Count Dracula. Mario just walks up on him, jams a stake through his heart, and he's dead forever, never to come back. Piku. Piku is a weird leech lizard tail thing, probably based off the fact whenever a lizard detaches its tail, it just keeps squirming around. Maybe a little bit too disturbing and graphic to keep in a Mario series. Masked ghouls. Masked ghouls are little Goomba-ass enemies with a knife sticking out their forehead and a hockey mask on inspired by the horror icon Jason Voorhees. I guess they just don't be stabbing people in the brain in the Mario series anymore. Three little pig heads. I mean, what can I really say? It's the three little piggies. They even got the straw house, the wood house, and the brick house. But instead of them hiding out in those houses, waiting for Mario to try and blow them down, they just jump out and get their ass beat. So these are the worst three piggies of all time. And now they've been cooked into bacon, never to be seen again. Moo fish. These are a cowfish hybrid swimming around in trees set. They gotta bring these back. These are honestly cool as hell, but nah, they, they, it's gotta say nah, you only get cheap cheap. Collector. What the hell is he collecting? Your one-ups. Imagine if in every single Mario game, this man just stole your one-up and you had to chase him down and beat his ass. That would get annoying really fast. Witch. I mean, it's just a generic Halloween witch. Nintendo already got one of those as the villain of Banjo-Kazooie. Wait a minute, they don't make that game anymore. Ants. There are several variant of ant enemies in Super Mario Land 2, and I think they're honestly pretty cool. I think them and Wiggler would get along pretty good. Kayo Roro. These guys are little Krillin ass looking Cyclops guys. They honestly remind me of the traditional Zelda Hinoxes, but instead of that, these guys are Binoxes because they're never coming back again. King Toto Mesu. Even though this guy is just copy and pasted over Bowser, to me, he is the most iconic Mario Land boss. And that's probably also because I can never get past the first world in this game. I mean, what's not to like about an Egyptian pharaoh lion spitting fireball man? Kiddo Kato. First you enter Mario's dick and then step by step, suck my dick. Something, something, we all fall down, yeah, 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 like toy soldiers. Floating face. It's a face and it be floating. It is Wario's right hand man, which is fitting because Wario is about as relevant to the mainline Mario series now as this thing is. Bear. It's an angry little bear rolling around on a ball, but unfortunately Mario had to send this man back to the circus so we can never appear in a video game again. Skellington B. It's a bee, and it's a skellington. It's a bee, and it's a skellington. It's a bee, and it's a skellington. Skellington B. Bero. There is a 0% chance this horny motherfucker is ever gonna appear in a Mario game again. Look at him trying to lick Mario right here. I don't wanna think of what the internet would do with this guy if they had him in a modern Mario game. Octopus. This octopus is down bad. Not only has it been swallowed by a whale and it's swimming around in its stomach ass is slowly being digested, Mario was also in there beating its ass to death. Birdfish. Birdfish. Tribe. Aqua Clan. Disposition. Crazy. Jack in a box. I mean, it's a little spring clown coming out of an item box. It's just Jack in a box. That's all it is. It's a stupid ass Jack in a box. Re, re, re. Oh, yeah. Re, re, re about describes this enemy's design. It's just a Fantasia ass broom that you walk around and beat its ass. No wonder this thing ain't coming back. Sewer rat. I'm honestly surprised Mario don't be fighting more rats given the fact he's supposed to be a plumber and all. The ass blaster 3000. <laughs> 